Please do not offer me anything, Pumpkin Spice. I'm not one of them. Okay, more for me, I guess. You go to bars and have men buy you drinks. I go to bars and men fear me. We are not the same. That much is obvious. My Jeep might be a pavement princess, but at least I don't have a basic white one. What? What do you mean? If they also have a Jeep that's 14 feet off the ground that you have to climb into with a ladder, it would be basic if it were white? I'm confused. Not like other moms. Moms who show up at their kids' game with no sunglasses, takes of her shoes to ground and sips on electrolyte water instead of wine? Yeah, you way better than everyone. Other girls break a nail and cry. I laugh when I fall off a 600 kilo grammo animal. I, I don't know why I said kilo grammo. I, I thought it was, thought it was fun. Leave me alone. It's very late and ask if anyone got it on camera. There's a difference. Sweetie, that's fine, but no one cares. I have no interest in the Starbucks Target trend. I'm a donkey Aldi woman to my core, and I'm done pretending otherwise. That's great, that's okay, fine. You do you, man, who cares? I'm sorry, quite a few of these are just going to end up as who cares. You do you, that's what I said before. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? Other women on Instagram, me. There's nothing wrong with a patu. That's how you say their name, right? They're horrifying fine creatures, but we love them for their goobiness. Why be Barbie and Ken when you could be them? No, that is true. No, I totally agree. We can't have love and books. Your happily ever after. My happily ever after. Okay, Twilight Sparkle, take a frickin' chill pill, okay? You are allowed to love books and literature of all kinds while also, I don't know, having a good relationship? Those two things are not mutually exclusive. I may not have a BF, but I damn sure act like their mama? What does that mean? No, this isn't satire. You wear chains and ripped jeans because it's popular on TikTok. I spent three years of middle school walking onto the school grounds blasting Shadow Moses through my headphones, blue black hair and fingerless gloves, glaring at all the stupid normies who walked past because they didn't understand what real demons were, pretending I was going to meet my boyfriend, Oil. <laughs> Why did I say Oil? Ollie! Ollie Sykes! We are not the same. You're right. I can't read the word Ollie, and you are a dork! I love Lana, or Lena, but this lyric from Sweet makes me cringe so hard. I'm a different kind of woman. If you want some basic b go to the Beverly Center and find her. Okay, I don't know what that means at all. I just overheard two girls talking about coffee. One of them said they don't drink it, and the other one says in a mean tone, wow, you're so edgy and cool. The one who doesn't drink it quietly says, it's because I have a heart condition. The way you could hear a pin drop after that. Oh, I'm sure. Don't say shit, even if you know shit. My wings are here. Most girls, I want angel wings. Me, I want badass wings. We're not the same. I got plans for these bad bitches. Okay, most girls, incorrect. I'm currently working a day job at Spirit Halloween. How many of the cutesy angel wings do you think we sell? Well, definitely less than half of the demon and devil wings and shit. Okay. Okay, so just stop it. Also, what plans could you have? What memes say girls do in Minecraft? Generic girly stuff. Me, also a girl who plays Minecraft. I'm sorry, forgive my ignorance. What did you- Oh, World War III bomb shelter, so you're 12? Literally every woman I've met has gone through this phase. I think this is why. I used to cringe so hard at my I'm not like other girls phase until I realized that most girls have this phase, and what we actually mean is, I'm not a thoughtless one-dimensional caricature of makeup and boobs, which is all I've been taught to believe girls are. How can women be viewed so poorly that little girls everywhere all think they're unique just for having individual independent thoughts and interests. And on the flip side, it also happens with us boys as well, just in a different fashion, of course. You know, we pick like one of five new personalities. They usually fall into caricatures, unfortunately. You know what? It, for us, it's nothing like this. It's nothing like this. We follow exactly what the movies say we are because we don't think that anyone likes us otherwise. Basic versus basic. Oh, to be popular. What? Wait, or not. No, I'm sorry, honey, but the or not part, you'd probably 
probably be just as popular. Are there females who do not wear makeup every day? Oh, me? POV, your husband needs manual labor help. Okay, what, is it not normal for women to also do manual labor? I mean, surely not to the same amount as men, I guess, whatever. But if I ask my girlfriend to help me move a couch, she's not gonna go, oh no, I'm a lady. No, it's not how that works. This is not a B movie, okay? Or the B movie, thank God. So he calls you because he didn't marry a little wimp. Okay, fine, fine. As a woman, I find majority male workspaces to be awesome. Yes, obviously everyone's experience is different, but as one of the 2% of woman engineers in my office, a special shout out to all the men who make my workplace fun, funny, non-toxic, non-gossipy, and full of life. Coming from a mostly female workspace where everyone was perpetually backstabbing, lying, and torpedoing each other's careers, it's like night and day. Whether you're shouting at Austin Powers, or an Austin Powers reference, across the warehouse, or drawing a d*** on the snowy windshield of one of the technician's vans, I salute you. Never change. Sounds like a lot of fun. As a female. As a female, I worked in an auto shop. I much prefer men. They might be mean, but it gets physical and then it's over. With girls, it's nice to your face and mean behind your back. I still prefer to be around men. Sometimes I feel bad I don't have enough girlfriends, but then I spend some time around females and remember why I don't. Right. I don't get jealous. I get territorial. Jealousy is wanting something you don't have. No, I'm pretty sure jealousy is wanting, or sorry, a fear of something being taken from you. I thought envy is wanting something that you don't, I don't know. And territorial is protecting what's yours. Right. I'm not like other moms. I'm a rock music, horror movie, early Halloween decorating kind of mom. So am I. But you don't hear me bragging about it now, do you? I thought she was joking at first. Some would call me a pick-me girl, because I'm not like other girls. 90% of my friends male, because I think like a guy, but I am far, far, far from a tomboy. I'm the girliest of girls. But my best friend is a guy, and I was in his wedding as his best man. I don't like sports or traditional male hobbies. I just want to laugh and have fun, and girls tend to want to gossip, and I would rather crack jokes all day. Wow. I'm not like most girls my age. I respect my body. And most call me old-fashioned because I believe my guy should be well-feed, little to no fast food, home-cooked southern meal. Go ahead, hate me for this. Women are in the kitchen and men go out. Look, if that's how you want to live, I don't give a shit, honestly. To all the blue-collar stealers, my buddies require their vape 24-7. Will hurt your feelings a hundred times a day, constantly messing with you, stink all day every day, and will throw a fit if they don't have their after-work beer. This all sounds very boring. No, because as normal 23 year olds are out partying on the weekend and I'm making homemade rolls for my three gremlins while they watch a Disney movie and my husband does yard work. Sounds like a fun, super fulfilling day. Wife, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Me, every day. As a woman who does think about the Roman Empire on a nearly daily basis, it's been a real trip watching all these videos of women shocked to find out how often their husbands think about it. But it also drives home the fact that I'm not normal. To put it nicely, I don't really know how I feel about that, to be honest. I I don't either. Also, again with the Roman Empire thing. Why the hell are y'all thinking about that? I could not care. I don't think about that. They say goths are the scary ones, but women who dress like this scare me a lot more. I can see why. You know, if the pumpkin spice latte is a little off, they'll kill the barista. How other girls look going to school. How I look. Messy hair and no makeup. Backpack and Xbox controller. Why are you carrying around your- Oh, you're spoofing. No, 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 no. You're not being serious. Nice try. You can't get me. We all know that's a PS4 controller. And nobody knows why you would just have that with you for some strange reason. Also, yeah, why would the goofy person be wearing a backpack to what a loser. I may not be the girl you marry, but I'll definitely be the girl you think about in 10 years when you're laying next to your loser of a wife. Goddamn cocky much? I know she's delusional, but come on. POV, I'm at that delusional age where I feel like everyone my age looks way older than I do, but I still look like I'm in college. No, you don't. I'm sorry. Doesn't mean you're ugly or anything like that, because that's not what that means. But no, you do not look like you are in college at, you know, the age I'm sure 
sure you're seeing in your mind right now. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, POV? Do, does anybody know what that means? Oh, mm, sexy plastic. This is not a gamer girl. It's a spot with a controller. This is a gamer girl. I'll shower when Hyrule is free. How old is this? How is this a brag? I'm the ex you don't want to find on social media. I'm carrying not only his first child, but his son. I have my life together and I'm not ugly. I'm not going anywhere because we share a child. He might not text me, but he'll forever be wondering what his son and I are up to. He fumbled and will forever be reminded of that. Keep it moving, sis. Yeah, what a great flex. When she's, uh, put glitter in his hoodie and return it crazy, but I'm weld your door shut slash three tires, put melted Jolly Ranchers on your windshield, hot cheese on your paint, and a pong ball in your gas tank type crazy. Uh, yeah, you sound like a lot of fun. Why would you be doing those things? Are you envisioning some kind of relationship where I do something messed up, like cheating or something like that, and you're fantasizing about all the mean, shitty things you would do back to me? Because that seems kind of weird. You see, I'm a nice guy, okay? Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. Oh no, oh no. It's probably gonna be five minutes before I'm saying a bunch of nasty, horrible stuff to someone. 2000s Wattpad stories be like, Every day I looked in the mirror, and unlike most girls who do think highly of themselves, I never did. Right. Like I said, my- you didn't say anything! My hair was dull and brown like my eyes. My skin was not albino pale, but I- it was in no way tanned. My figure was okay, but I could do with losing a few pounds, even I admit. I wasn't fat, but I was not what you would consider thin. My mom still says it's puppy fat. I didn't really care, though. I had friends, and I had a guy who was willing to cheat on his girlfriend to sleep with me, so I couldn't be that repulsive. Okay. Other girls? Slutty clothes, skinny legs, flat stomach. Me, classy clothes, six foot tall vice president, I am Joe Biden. <gasps> I knew it. I'm not like other girls. I listen to mainstream bands instead of a mainstream solo artist. Listen to Taylor Swift. Oh, I listen. I didn't see the eye for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there you go. A bunch of other huge artists that everybody knows. Wow, you're so underground. You listen to Nirvana? The Beatles? Whoa, dude, you're crazy. Who are they? As someone around her age, this sounds like a nightmare. Mm, what does? Oh, dear God. When I meet someone new and suddenly remember it's not normal to be on your fifth pregnancy at 23, homeschooling, stay-at-home mom, and married at 18. Yeah, I mean, it, okay. Are you saying in this context it shouldn't be criminal? Catfishing and collecting private photos or videos of hundreds of girls? Don't give out private photos or videos to random strangers that you have not verified they are who they are. I'm in my 40s. I have not once sent a photo of me with any less than a bikini or video to anyone. I know, I am crazy. Wow, you're so not like other girls. Please don't flirt with me, especially five months later. I was trying to insult you, actually. Sorry if that came off wrong. <laughs> I'm a girl, and I'd rather play sports than get my nails done, watch ESPN instead of MTV. It, what? Eat steak over salad and more. Oh, and I'm straight. So we do exist and we do get friend zoned. No, you don't. Baby, this is not the flex you think it is. To the blue collar man stealer who's probably still sleeping at 7 a.m. and you've already made breakfast, done laundry, gotten the kids up, made his lunch, and separated the jeans without breaking a nail. Separated the jeans. Is that part of the checklist I should be doing every day? I'm not the kind of girl you take home to mama. I drink too much, talk too loud and sometimes I'm a crazy bitch. I'm not like other girls. I won't play hard to get. I want it too, but I still want to be loved. Uh, okay. Normal girls. OMG, yes, honey, you're so sweet. Fangirls be like, the hell did you just do with my book, you insert infinite curse here? For the fault in our stars? Really? Really? Imagine thinking a pair of pants makes you... Makes you what? What? Oh, not like a... Okay, I'm stupid. 30-year-old me sporting my 874 dickies to remind myself that I will always be the Avril in a world of Swifties. Man, shut the hell up! Other girls flirting with him to get his attention? Uh, versus how I made him fall for me? I'm not sure that that is how. I'm just sure that once they fell in love with you, they loved that too. Those daily moms. 
but not me. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you look like on the daily. Found on TikTok. Aren't you jealous? He has girlfriends? What? Them. Me. Oh, good God. Why does it have to be so dark? If you're tired of looking like every other girl at your workout class, then what? No offense to the female girly pink lovers, I'm just a female tomboy pink hater. Sorry, I didn't mention my least favorite stones. Has to be rose quartz and blue gold stone. That's a dumbass name. Blue gold stone. They seem to be the ones every female novice always pick. Not that I'm criticizing the properties and healing aspects of rose quartz, and I do own a few tumble stones, but you are just not speaking English. You're not. Some girls talk about nails in gucky bags. That's right, it's gucky. That's what it is. Some girls talk about nails in gucky bags, but I don't give a shit. And then there's me. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I see. Shut up. As a woman, I do not respect girls who train only their glutes. What? Is that a thing? I have this opinion for three reasons. This means that they do not understand the importance of physical activity for all muscles, that it speeds up metabolic processes, improves well-being, etc. So they don't know what they're doing. Instead, they stupidly repeat movements of bloggers. They're often afraid to become too muscular on the upper body, which again confirms that they do not understand how muscle growth works. One of their primary goals is to look sexy for men, instead of being fit and athletic in general to please yourself. They can spend hours doing something they're not very interested in just to excite more guys. Or, or they want a fine ass for themselves. That is perfectly normal too. I'm gonna work out so I can have an awesome ass. Yeah, I did it. I don't care if you like it, it's mine. Conservative women have been fighting feminism, fighting abortion, and fighting for traditional values for years and making real progress, only to have right-wing men turn on us in 2023, bitterly blaming all women for what's wrong in society. It's such an incredible betrayal. I'll never understand why other women do this. Why do so many women who have fair skin insist on using a foundation that's two or three shades darker? Maybe I'm just biased, because I've always been pale and I prefer to not follow the trends. Like, in the US, I've always seen more women getting tans than maintaining their natural fair skin. I actually hate the few times that I've lost, or sorry, excuse me, <laughs> not lost, I've let a professional do my makeup at a beauty salon, and she uses a foundation that's way darker than my natural color. I'm an ivory, not any shade of brown. I don't ever wear makeup. Like, the last time I wore makeup was at a cousin's wedding, which was in 2015 or something, and I only did it because she begged me to. But I'm always watching other women do this. It's so annoying. Yeah, most feminists don't like old-fashioned chivalry from men. That's why they're slowly becoming extinct. It's such a shame for those few women who do miss chivalry. Uh-huh. Okay.